Hey all, uh, we'll see a few concepts in monitoring and tuning um, and troubleshooting uh, in this class. Uh, let us go uh, as per priority. Uh, first, let us cover about Java core and uh, heap dumps. So, yeah. so, Java core and heap dumps are used uh, uh, while troubleshooting um, and if you face any issues with the applications like if application gets hung or if application gets stuck or if application stops and you, you may you have to find out the root cause analysis and you have to troubleshoot the issue accordingly so in those situations you will take heap and uh, thread dump so thread dump can also be called as java core and uh, heap dump uh, is heap dump uh, it let us know about the memory usage and so based on the a heap dump analysis if required you may have to upgrade memory or else if uh, there is a possibility for code optimization you can do code optimization or to increase the performance so let us see how to take heap and code dumps you can uh, select the required uh, server and click on a java core it is um, completed uh, successfully by default uh, it will by default it will store in profile root so, so this profile is appsrv03 yeah see this is a dump i just took uh, so it is stored in our profile root and similarly let us take heap dump then select the required server and click on heap dump. It is completed successfully. And yeah, it is stored here, heap dump. Uh, there are various applications or uh, softwares available uh, to analyze heap and thread dumps. And even IBM is providing few tools. In the next session, I will show you how to analyze a uh, heap and thread dump using uh, these tools so this is uh, about heap and thread dump so thread dump uh, using java core that is that can also call as thread dump uh, you can troubleshoot if any if any code execution takes long time or if there are any conflicts uh, with the code of, uh, in the running environment uh, so because of uh, this you know conflicts uh, conflicts or if code execution takes long time, uh, the application can get hung. So you can analyze a Java core and uh, troubleshoot accordingly. And heap dump is nothing but it gives the memory usage in your environment. So based on the report, uh, you can optimize the code or else you can increase the memory size. Uh, uh, next step, I'll show you how to increase the memory size in a web sphere. And, uh, yeah, let us see how to increase uh, memory in the web sphere. Uh, you can navigate through the servers, web sphere application server, and then existing server. And then Java for Java and process management, process definition, Java virtual machine. So it would be like this initial heap size maximum heap size initial heap size generally starts with 256 mb but based on your application environment uh, you have to give initial heap size suppose you you if you give 1024 mb then uh, the application would uh, have minimum one g around 1 gb of memory and if the requirement cost is 1024 mb then it will take from the maximum heap size it will take <coughs> excuse me it will take support from the uh, operating system and it will take uh, memory from OS and if it reaches maximum heap size and uh, your application needs more memory in such situation the application gets hung then you know you can optimize the core or else you can increase uh, these sizes as per uh, your uh, business requirement and uh, the, this is a path uh, to navigate to heap size and logs and trace you can see uh, the log files configuration uh, uh, with this 
uh, from here log files configuration so this is about error logs i mean uh, it gives a uh, runtime uh, errors uh, and it gives even it gives the same errors error log, these both are uh, error log files uh, for the runtime of websphere and um, if you observe here server log root uh, this is you can find out uh, this path in the uh, websphere uh, variables from environment websphere variables here uh, you can search so this is uh, a little bit technique you should uh, follow okay. and now again you should find out the path of log root log root this is log root Again, uh, we should find out user install root. So logs and trace, children logs. So as per um, this configuration, if you go to this path, you should you should be able to see uh, the log file system out dot log. Let us see. Yeah, system out dot log, system error dot log. So this is how you can find out uh, the log file uh, configurations and um, these are the HTTP uh, error logs. If we, uh, you can, there is a uh, new mode uh, in from 8.5 release, it is called HPEL mode. Once you enable this, uh, you can uh, view these logs in the, through the console to the web screen console itself we will switch this uh, last and uh, we will see this option as well and the next uh, let us see a uh, few features available uh, in performance monitoring here so one performance monitoring is enable enable okay so in the performance uh, viewer uh, uh, Web Spirit is having purely performance viewer, and I have uh, started uh, monitoring this server. You, can, you need to start uh, monitoring of this server if you want to use this feature. And now, since I have already started, uh, let us check again. See, it is already started. So let us see how to check the logs from here. So say uh, suppose uh, you want to analyze about the existing JDBC connections, you can select the appropriate module and click on view modules. And uh, I'll allow it again current activity. Then you can select the required module and then click on view module. So here let us say JDBC. JDB is nothing but it's about the connection between application and, and to the database. So in the, so in the runtime you would be having uh, the actual pool size, the number of connections it can uh, have, and uh, the, the close the close connections and uh, the existing connections, all those things. So uh, you can uh, view this uh, data and uh, you can analyze uh, while troubleshooting. And uh, let us check about JVM runtime. Yeah. It's about yeah, here it is showing about heaps, uh, heaps, heap size, and then uh, used memory, and then uptime. So based on these data, uh, you can analyze and troubleshoot accordingly. So you can use the Valley Performance Viewer.
to analyze um, environment environment as well next uh, request matrix request matrix it's about uh, the communication between http server and web sphere if you enable this enable this uh, the logs uh, the logs related to http and web sphere connection uh, will uh, get recorded in the log files so it by default it would be enabled and uh, dynamic caching speed application servers server one container services dynamic cache service it's nothing but it's uh, by default it would be enabled as well it's nothing but it will use a buffer and the cache uh, in the web speed environment uh, if if any request uh, if any request needs execution of the code repeatedly or many requests use the same code in such case uh, the very first time while executing the code uh, the server will store the buffer and cache so the the existing buffer uh, the server will use ex existing buffer and cache for the for next request apart from the first request so so that uh, the uh, performance will be good if you if you if dynamic uh, cache service will be enabled and um, uh, let us enable HPL, HPL mode and see in the log centuries. Log centuries. Switch to HPL mode. Save. Let us uh, restart and then um, see the changes. Restart is completed and let us log in and uh, see the changes. So <clears throat> let us uh, see the changes. So now you are seeing these configurations. Uh, yeah. As I said, uh, you can view the logs uh, through web sphere console itself directly and analyze uh, the environment. And this is all about uh, this class uh, you can take a screenshot of uh, this page and uh, revise uh, if, if you want to learn a uh, web sphere application server administration course as uh, you can check the play a uh, playlist available in my channel and uh, you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos in your future thank you for watching this video bye bye